This is part 19 of Link to SQL tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the significance of update check property. This is continuation to part 18, so please watch part 18 before proceeding. Update check property of column attribute class is used to determine how Link to SQL detects concurrency conflicts. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. Let's go ahead and run the application. We did not explicitly set any values for this update check property. So at the moment, we are running the application with the defaults for that property. Now, let's go to SQL Server Management Studio and then fire up SQL Profiler. Let's connect to the local server and let's run a new trace. Now let's click this Deposit $500 button. And let's go back to SQL Profiler and look at the update query that is generated. Let's copy this and actually paste it within SQL Server Management Studio so you can see it much better. Now, look at the WHERE clause. Within the WHERE clause, all the three columns of this accounts table are involved in detecting concurrency conflicts. So that's the default behavior. By default, all the columns of that table will be involved in detecting concurrency conflicts. Now, in your project, you may have a requirement where you want to exclude some of the columns uh, you know, from detecting concurrency conflicts. If that's the case, that's when we use update check property explicitly. So let's see how to set this property. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So let's go to sample.dbml file. So here we have this account entity representing this accounts table. And all the three properties represent those three columns in that accounts table. Now what we want to do is exclude this account balance uh, column from detecting concurrency conflicts. If that's the case, right click on that account balance property, select properties, and then within the properties window, notice that we have update check property. And that's the default value. Look at this, by default it's set to always, meaning always include the column that this property represents in detecting concurrency conflicts. And if I drop this list down, notice that it has got three values, always, never, when changed. Now let's set this to never. When we set this to never, we are saying never include this column in detecting concurrency conflicts. There is another value here, when changed. This means only when the value of this property is changed, that's when use that you know, property or column that property represents in detecting concurrency conflicts. So we have a fine grain control here. And we can set this update check property, um, you know, for each of the properties of that entity. Okay, so at the moment, we are setting for account balance update check to never. Let's save these changes. Now, if we go to the sample.designer.cs file, this is where we'll have the code for account entity. So if we scroll down, we should have a class representing account. And within this class, we should have properties representing account number, account name, and account balance. So here we have account number. And here we have account name and account balance. Now if you look at account number, account name, and account balance, all these properties, notice that all of them are uh, decorated with column attribute. And if you look at the column attribute for account balance, notice that we have a value set explicitly for update check property. And that is set to update check dot never. So what is this update check? This is actually an enum. And it has got all these three values and we just discussed what they mean. So for this property, we have set explicitly the value for update check property. But if you look at the other three, uh, other two properties, we don't have update check property. Now, these two properties are using the defaults of that update check property. Okay, so with all these changes, let's go ahead and run the web form once again. Let's actually clear the trace and let's click this deposit $500 button once again. Now let's look at the update query that is generated. So let's copy that. Now look at the where clause. So within the where clause now we have just account number and account name. Account balance is not included in the where clause. So it's excluded from detecting concurrency conflicts. 
So that's the significance of this update check property. Now this enum, uh, update check enum is present in system.data.link.mapping namespace. Now we also discussed that the default is always, this means by default all the columns will be used to detect concurrency conflicts. Thank you for listening and have a great day.